Welcome back to SnowRunner, y'all, and today we have an extremely fun adventure in the works. Now, we are back out here at West Georgia Mud Park today, and all of the mods that you are seeing in this video are either already on console or are on their way to console. Now, this is the Glitchworks Ford Excursion. It's got a different name that is a uh, console-friendly name, I believe. It is the, what is it called? It is the G GWC 2001 Silverback, and it is available on console. And then these two trucks, both this Duramax and this Ram 30, 3500 are on their way to console. They are currently in the testing process as of the date of recording this video. And again, the map is West Georgia Mud Park, which has been available on console for a very long time. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the excursion to tow these two trucks out to some mud pits and see what they can really do. And I've also tried to build them in ways that they are as similar to each other as they can be in terms of performance and in terms of capability. They're both running similar size lift kits. They're both running similar size tires. They're both actually, they're both on 40s and they're both dualies so they actually should be pretty well matched but with that out of the way let's go ahead and fire up the excursion and see what we can get up to on this adventure this thing sounds so good this is also my first time towing this much weight with this excursion so we'll see how it does i mean i put it on the top tune so i'm really hoping that it does a good job but uh, like i said we'll have to wait and see Oh, that looks so sick, though. That setup is amazing. I would be using a modded trailer as well, but I had to use one of the stock in-game trailers because I couldn't find anything that was a pull-behind trailer that would have been long enough for these. I'm sure that there was something in the Pog Trailers pack that would have worked, but I forgot that I didn't have the Pog Trailers pack on until I actually started making this video, and I was like, you know what? This trailer will work fine because we don't actually have to take them off-road, like, on the trailer. We're just going to be towing them on the road, so that's why the vanilla trailer worked fine, but if we were going to have to go off-road, then I would have gone back and adjusted and, you know, gone for the Pog trailer setup and done something like that. We really do have them packed in, though. I mean, like, look how close that Chevy is to the front of the trailer. We are drifting around a little bit on this stretch of highway. We gotta make sure we at least... I know it's not, like, real life, but I'm trying to at least stay on my side of the road. I feel like that's, that's like, the least I can do. That's, like, the minimum effort I can do is stay on the, you know, the correct side of the road. Now, where should we go first? I feel like... I feel like we should probably do that really long mud pit first. I feel like that one would be the best, like, side-by-side -side test of these two. Even though we're technically not going to be testing them side-by-side -side of each other. Oh, my God. Well, the trailer decided I should go in here. I won't argue. I mean, well, I would like to argue, but I feel like... I feel like we're kind of already... We've kind of already found our parking spot. So, uh... Yeah, the trailer was like, you're going in here. And I was like, really? And the trailer was like, oh... You absolutely are. And I was like, oh, okay. All right. Well, I guess that means we are testing these two over here. First, I mean, we don't necessarily have to, but I tell you what, actually, let's try that long mud pit first. Let's get both of these trucks over there and see how they stack up and how they compare. And actually, I'm going to do a little boosted launch in both of them first to see how they perform. Three, two, one, go. This one's not on its fastest setup, but it's pretty spicy. It's definitely spicy. Yeah, it's quick for sure. All right, let's go ahead and pull up and set the parking brake and shut it down. And then now, let's go ahead and grab the Duramax and see how this one fares. It sounds so good on startup too. It's one of the best sounding mods that has come out as of late for sure. get you turned around real quick all right three two one boosted launch oh wow okay i tried to put it like from high into auto and it went in reverse okay because it doesn't have as many gears it's not quite well at least on this transmission this transmission doesn't have quite as many gears uh, so it's not quite as spicy off the line but that's okay that's okay that may actually be in our favor a little bit later on Oh, boy. All right. Well, let's see what these things have. I'm going to start in the Mega Cab. Three, two, one. Let's go. Throw it in high. Oh, my God. Whoa. <laughs> Beans might end up with whiplash after this run. Dude, it is getting it. Holy smokes. Oh 
my god. Oh, oh, okay. Ooh. Okay, I think we've actually bogged it out. Yeah, I mean, aside from just barely moving, that's about as far as it got. Okay. All right. Well, now it's time to see what this thing can do then. <laughs> I love that startup. I cannot get over that startup sound. Look at that. That doesn't look like Apple CarPlay. That looks like that looks more like Android Auto on that screen. And let's go. It rips, that's for sure. Obviously, it's not quite as fast as the Mega Cab, but it gets down for sure. Try to find a slightly different line than I did with the Mega Cab. Like I said, it's not quite as high speed, but like we're definitely making moves. It's getting it done. Oh, oh, oh! Oh my god! Oh, it's digging! Oh no! Put it back in auto, and... It's still moving! Oh, never mind. Yep, it's basically stuck. Wow, they both made it to, like, about the same spot. They really did. Like, to just about the same spot. That's actually pretty impressive. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Let me detach the trailer from that thing real quick, and I wanna go pull those trucks out, and then we're gonna bring them back over... Actually, no! Wait a minute. We're gonna do it one better than that. We're not gonna bring them back over here, because I feel like if we knew what they did over there, we already know how they're gonna do back over there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull them out of that mud pit, then we're gonna see how they do in the swamp. The freaking swamp is gonna be... Oh, that's gonna be a challenge for those things. Oh, I forgot about this area out here as well. I, I literally always forget about that. It's like a little extra playground. I love it. There's so much, like, hidden stuff on this map that you wouldn't see if you weren't looking for it. Come with me! Thank you! Let's go! And as soon as I can get y'all out of the mud pit... Then I'll drive you individually down to the swamp. Alright. Shut it down. Back to the excursion. Now we just gotta get the Chevy out. Oh, easy. I did not want to go to the side. Is that the only place in the winch tube? Yep, apparently so. Well, let's hope we don't flip it over. There we go. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted. Alright, let me back you up, back you up, back you up, and you're good. Easy. Honestly, not too bad. Alright, let's take the Duramax down to the swamp first, because we did this obstacle in the Mega Cab first, so I feel like we might as well give this truck a shot at doing one of the obstacles first, right? I dig this interior so much. I actually love how you can see the spare tire out the rear window. That's so freaking cool. I love that. I love that so much. Can you imagine driving into a swamp like this in real life? I mean, some of you in the comments have probably done it. So you're probably like, what do you mean? That's not scary at all. I do it every weekend. <laughs> Why are you talking about that as if it's scary? Why do I have no visible winch points? There's literally a tree right there. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Power extended. There we go. Okay, yeah, that's what I was looking for. Although the fact that we got stuck right here does not bode well for the future of this uh, adventure, let's say. I'm scared. I'm very nervous now. I don't think the swap is going to go all that well for us. I really don't. I really, really, really don't. Lockers on, maybe? Well, that only helps me a little bit. Oh, God. I get that this truck, by the way, was designed to be a little bit more on the realistic side of things and not necessarily designed to be a mud truck. So I understand that going into this. But at the same time, it doesn't make me any less nervous jumping it into the mud, you know? So as soon as we get you down here, we'll drop you off so we can launch both of these trucks in kind of back to back and we don't have a big drive in between the two. So let's pull up real quick. Right here should be a good enough spot. Now we're going to grab the Mega Cab. And I anticipate this may get down there a little bit faster. Let's go! Oh yeah, we're moving. We're freaking hauling! Oh god, it's actually putting me back in the seat. 
Like, the camera is physically back in the seat right now. Holy smokes! Diving it through! Oh, wow! That legitimately stopped me in my tracks. Like, it is that gnarly of a mud pit. Like, and it's small. It's just, like, right there in the middle of the road. Still stopped me in my tracks, like, with nothing I could actually do. God, that is actually... It's kind of beyond surprising when you think about it. Like, the fact that it is so... The fact that it is so, um, like, easy to get stuck right there... Well, no putting it off any longer. It, I think it's time to see what these things can do. All right. Three, two, one. Let's go. Back in a fourth. Come on. Where's fifth? Give me fifth. Give me fifth. Come on. Oh, God. I didn't even get any air. <laughs> well, that went well. Oh, wow. That was so... Oh, well, actually... I've got some speed. Oh, I don't have any speed anymore. I'm stuck. That went well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was, um, a thing. Your turn now. I'm gonna back it up to, like, not quite the tree line, but, like, the edge of the parking area. All right. Spooling and go. Oh, my God. It, like, jumped out of the hole. Boing! Ooh. Holy sending it! Oh my god! And, wow, okay, literally stuck at just about the same spot. <laughs> Holy crap! Well, if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I will see y'all next time.